Hello, 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 all you wonderful, beautiful people. Welcome to Gangalized Treasures. My name is Renee, and today we are going to go back to the same Salvation Army that we were at um, in last week's video. If you're new to the channel, again, welcome. My family and I are on thrifting adventures, um, usually for everything vintage, but I'm realizing and have been since about Thanksgiving or Christmas that I need to change the way I shop and what I decide to buy because people are changing what they buy. So I have to be a little more strategic about what I pick up. I have to know what the sell-through rate is. Um, and so it's almost like a new chapter. And I want to um, apologize for there not being a video on Friday. We had three houses that we had to go look at and we actually made an offer on a house. Um, we bid a lot, a lot more than what the asking price was and we still lost the bid. Um, that's what the market is like and we saw the house the first day it came on the market. So when the realtor calls and says, hey, there's one that just came on the market, it's kind of like, you gotta go and go look at it. And uh, well, we are settled in, um, in our Airbnb, we are still in the hill area. And since we didn't get to see all the parts of that Salvation Army, um, I think we will go back there and check the rest of it. We didn't get to go through any of the clothes and they had um, a whole big rack of just leather coats. And I know that those are uh, very in right now. So let's head over there and see if we can find some treasure. This Salvation Army is a big place. I couldn't show you the other side because I was driving, but. Let's go in and see if we can find any treasure. I think we'll hit appliances first since we already went through hard goods and then clothes and then maybe we'll go through hard goods if we have enough time. So I have another crunch. I have an hour. And Goodwill Industries is right across the street. Oh, we've got shoes first and sit here. Darn, they have the music on. I'm gonna have to do the rest in a voiceover. Well, there was nothing there in the shoes, not even a pair of Converse or a pair of Reeboks. There was a pair of New Balance, and then I walked past six aisles of clothes to get in here to the furniture. And I'm kind of looking at the furniture for me $160 for a leather settee. Which, I guess is a good buy because you're not paying five or six hundred dollars for it. But this is a Salvation Army. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Is 160 at a Salvation Army a good buy for a leather settee? This is a cool table. I just want to look at it. And I don't think it's for sale. Somebody already bought it. But it's a pretty cool looking table. Um, china cabinets and dressers. This one is really shiny, a high gloss finish on it. Oh, a little wardrobe. Chairs, tables, I definitely don't need tables. Um, the other thought is if there were good buys here, there would possibly be some things that I could buy, refinish, repaint, and possibly sell. I should have looked at that desk uh, more, but I wanted to look at this desk. Because it looks like it might possibly have um, a leather inlay, but I don't think it is now that I'm up close. And I did look at some of the artwork. There's another room that I looked at. This has a beautiful Art Deco decor. And it is $90 for a chest. Yes, it's vintage, but at Salvation Army, I don't think it's worth $90. So here is the appliance and electronic section, which I thought would be way bigger. That one computer monitor looked really nice. Um, what I'm looking for in these clocks is one that has the numbers that flip. Those sell quite well. It's 
some speakers. I don't know enough about speakers. Um, I did want to go ahead and look at these curling irons and we need these. We need these all the time. Four ninety nine. Now see, that's the kind of prices I expect at a Salvation Army. Um, but all the curling irons, the straighteners, the hair dryers, were all the Walmart Target brands. I know some of them can sell for good money, but they're usually the higher end. Uh, they had lots of lamps, even desk lamps, but most of them didn't have shades and just small appliances um, I should have looked at that thing with the keys more but I was so taken by this lamp because I could tell by the wire and the plug that it was vintage and I looked it up and I'll put it on the picture and this was a pretty cool toaster. I thought you do four pieces of toast, but I like the fact it had all the little buttons and the timer because people in my house are really picky about toast. And it's a GE. And they wanted $9.99 for it, which that's not bad for, you know, a toaster. But I did not look it up. And you know I like can openers and little appliances, but that one doesn't have all the parts. So it stayed on the shelf. Blank shelves. Empty shelves don't help very much. Waffle makers. Omelet makers. Hot water pots. Choppers. Grills. More waffle makers. Oh, that's like the foreman grill. This one would make square waffles. I have one that I think makes round waffles. They weren't $14.99. I don't know. That's maybe it's a high-end waffle maker that was really cute I thought that the two little pots but it's as is it doesn't have the lid and um, courage you can buy all over the place for 20 bucks usually another hot pot I don't know why I'm looking at a hot pot I haven't ever sold one and I have two now this I thought I'm gonna look up Looks like somebody bought it, decided they didn't want it, looked like it was brand new. I put the comps up. Um, they wanted $12.99 for it, and I think it sells for $20. And this was kind of cute, those little light, but it was right there in the testing area, and I couldn't get the button to work it. That's probably why it was left in the testing area. Another can opener, more lamps that don't have shades. I was, um, I have to say, I was really disappointed with the appliance section. I'm going to check out the hats, because their hats are like $1.99, $2.99. Um, take a look at the hats and see if any of them have a really nice sell-through rate or have a really nice uh, price. So I found these. There's a Nike, a Hollister, and I'm going to look them up. I'm going to take a run through the clothes because I'm looking for the leather coats because there was a whole huge rack of them and they're gone. So we have time. Let's go through hard goods. This is the aisle. I should have skipped at this aisle, but oh, look, look over here. Oh, that lid doesn't fit. That doesn't help. Silver plate. It was a nice little tea, nice little coffee pot there. And a silver plate made in China. Silver plate. More silver plate. I thought that was just cute. Not something that I would pick up for resale. You know, I still have a problem with cute, and I'm doing so well at not picking up things. Um, this is a relish dish with a car with a stainless steel carrying tray. Ooh la la! And that five-piece relish tray, I have one. I have my mother's. I'm a little tarnish, but oh, there's two. Okay, this one is silver plate, and the other one is probably stainless steel. Crafted in doesn't help. This was really pretty because it had the grapes on the outside. Probably should have looked at the bottom to see whether there was a signature there. 
Nice little candy dish, pressed glass, more serving bowls. They still have Christmas stuff. I, it was nice to see that there were new things on the shelves. That would be really cute to make little um, treats for the dog. See, two ninety nine. That's the kind of prices I expect at Salvation Army and a Goodwill and at thrift stores. Muffin tins and a cookie sheet. I could have got all that for our bed and breakfast. He has one cookie sheet, but it has no muffin pans. But most people don't go to an Airbnb and stay for two or three months. <laughs> this probably had a candle in it one time. Those were unfortunately plastic. I was excited and until I realized they were plastic. Ooh, could this be from Italy? Oh, it looks like a squash inside. I gotta set it down and get a better grip. I can turn it over. By Alfer, originally fourteen ninety nine. This was really nice with the roses etched on it. And more roses. These are painted. Microwave and dishwasher safe. Made in China. Not vintage. And this little guy was one of the few things that I saw that was the here last week. Let's keep looking. Those were really cute, but they didn't have the lids. And they were looked more modern. Uh, heavy tarnish on that. But no Maker's Mark, no 925. Let's see, is it in the lid? Nope, nothing there either. I don't know what that would do to butter if you put it in there and didn't clean it. That's a cute little gravy boat. Looks like maybe somebody made it. These were nice, but they are contemporary. And if I brought them home, I'd want to make pie, or I'd want to have a man to make pie. So let's go to the next shelf. Oh, look at the pretty colors. Hobbyist piece, but very, very well painted hobbyist piece. Could this be from Italy? I've got to get down on the floor, actually kneel down. Oh, it has chips. Oh. Can I be forgiven? Where is it? No. Too many chips. Nice bright colors. Oh, and a piggy. Look, at, I'm not a piggy person. Oh, it's a bank. That's so cute. But it looks more contemporary. There's a big bowl down there, but I'm not going to go get that one. But I will look at the plate. An antipasta plate. USA. 2025 and you know what I forgot to go look it up oh that's why because it has a chip in it and the chip is a little too big to forgive okay I have to actually hold onto the shelf to get up oh that's what you have to do a biscotti made in China darn it was really pretty $2.99 Santa plate Nope. This looked like it had some age, or is it made to look like it has some age? Okay, no chips on the lid. Let's look at the bar. Nope. Okay, no markings. And metal acorns with leaves in them? This was kind of pretty. But I couldn't find any comps for it. And a parrot plate. Oh, it's got chips right on the... Oh, it is made in Italy. Um, right on the wood pieces. And the feet. One chip maybe I could forgive, but not that many. Garden party. And I think this was here last time. Wasn't it? No. This is a different one, but this looks not as high quality as even the last one. But the one that was there last week um, had a petal that was broken. Olive oil and vinegar. Oh, big chip off the side. A little appleware, except when I picked it up, it wasn't heavy. It didn't have the same weight as appleware. And... The painting wasn't 
the quality of appleware. So there's a koala down there I'm trying to figure out, decide whether I want to go look at it or not. All the little figurines, nothing grabbed my attention. I still have the hats, so I have the hats um, under in one hand with the phone and I'm using my other hand. I picked this up, but it's not, it wasn't wood and it's not resin. Some kind of weird plastic. And this dog was so cute, but he had holes in him. He was an adorable little collie. Possibly an Aussie collie. There's two little piggies in the back. And I think, was this here last time? Yeah, and probably because it has a great big chip out of the side. Cute little vase. GOT, but made in China, even if it's got a little bit of age to it. Not something I'm going to pick up. What is this? This is Mojito. This was a cute little vase. Made in China. Not going to pick that up or look it up, even. And some faces and a picture there with the green on them. And these, I did not look at closely last time. And thank you to the lady that told me I sh should have looked at them closer that they are actually they go around a bowl and they're like a chip and dip set or hors d'oeuvre appetizer set when I pulled them out and looked at them completely and saw how big they were that's exactly what they are they are not bone plates this was so pretty with the red contrasted against the white and this one I thought had some nice clean lines and oh it's painted on but you can't see it so let's turn it around so the next person that comes can see that it's painted and look I always call those holly hobby but I think I'm more interested in the glass underneath just has little blue flowers or little blue splotches And oh, the pitcher is there too. Let's put the salt and pepper back down there with them. So they're all together. So there's actually the teapot and the water pitcher and the salt and pepper. And this is something different. This is a basket with a handle. Oh, I should have checked out those tools on the bottom. I totally missed it. If I missed anything else, let me know. We can all learn from each other. A dinosaur, but I don't think he's in the right department. That was a whole set there you could buy together. Another bean pot, maybe. Oh, there's a bowl with radishes in it. I did miss that. I should have looked that up. And look, these glasses are still here. And I'm going to pick them up and look at them again. And I'm going to think about taking them home. Except my home is an Airbnb. Maybe that's not a good idea. Hopefully there'll be something better later. And we're already starting into coffee cups. The sun has come out and the rain has stopped and um, it's almost a beautiful day if I didn't have allergies. But I thought for sure that that Salvation Army would have had a larger appliance section. It has a very huge clothing section. And as you saw at the end of the video, um, I did go through the hats, I did find some. And I put in the video as we went along what the comps were and why I didn't buy them. So that's twice that I've been to that place and I've only found one thing. I particularly wanted to go and look at all the leather coats to see if there were any motorcycle style coats and the whole rack was gone. I walked all the aisles and couldn't find it. So I don't know if they sold all of them within a week, uh, if they shipped them somewhere else, or if they just took them to the back. I didn't see hardly any coats in there at all. Maybe they moved the coats because now they think it's springtime because it's 60 degrees, but of course we could have snow again in a week because this weather's crazy lately. Um, but I went out, went out, I left without anything. Um, I could have picked up the Nike hat, 
but it was $2.99 and by the time I've got to have at least $12 or $15 for it and that only makes me $5 and that's about what they're selling for is $12 to $15 um, then it's not really worth my time so I don't think we'll go back to that Salvation Army unless Romanda and I go back together and maybe we'll do a section on their clothes, what we find. And like I said in the last video, it would be totally different if we were buying stuff um, for whatnot. Because some of that stuff is just cute and I, I think it would sell on whatnot. But y'all know I have a problem with cute. But I'm trying to curb that habit. I didn't walk out with the glasses. I thought about it again and I decided not to because we don't have a house yet. But I did look at the furniture and I'll probably, I haven't um, edited it yet because I'm not even home yet. Um, might mention that I was looking at them for the new house because we are not bringing our couch with us. And then I, the thought was, as I'm sure we'll probably say in the video, I don't know what size living room I'll we'll have, so maybe looking at a couch is not a good idea. And um, they definitely had higher prices on the furniture than I thought. Goodwill usually has better prices on furniture so far from the Goodwills that I've been to that, that I've seen. Um, I mean, I, I understand that $160 for a leather couch is um, a good buy because you're not paying four or 500 for it. Um, but then again, I'm buying it at a Salvation Army. I don't know, let me know in the comments. Uh, do you think 160 is a good buy for a leather couch? I just don't have any place to store it right now. Thank you all for coming along. Thank you for all the likes. Thank you for all the comments. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button so you know when the next video comes out. And I'm hoping that the next one, uh, Roman and I can go out together this weekend. If David and I aren't house hunting, hoping that maybe tomorrow will be the day that we will find the house that we fall in love with. But until the next video, remember that you are blessed to be a blessing. So go out and make today a great day.